I'm gonna give you my review of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. A lot of people have been waiting on this title. As you can probably tell, it's an anime style game in a fantasy world. Let's start with gameplay, the most important part. The gameplay is fast paced, fate slash Tales of Arise with boss battles. So I guess Monster Hunter World, I've heard it compared to. There's lots of characters to choose from to be in your party. It is a party based system. So you'll have one main character that has to be in your party and you get to choose the three others that accompany you. They each have skill trees, unlock different skills. You have your skills, you can use them. They're on a charge timer. Boss battles are fun, hectic, and can be a bit repetitive. They use a lot of the same bosses over and over again, but they are fun for the most part. Side quests are also available as you progress the story. You got three flavors, Horde, Boss, and Defend. Voice acting for the dub is good. Graphics are enjoyable. The background slash skybox and the towns that you inhabit are the where the graphics shine the most. And you can see that a lot of the care went into those. Character models aren't bad at all. They're, they're, they're good. So everybody using skills at the same time that gets too busy on the screen, but that's a minor gripe and I think you can get over it. The music. Nothing really to report here. It does, it's not offensive, it's there. It does what it needs to do. The story, there's nothing wrong. The writing is decent, it's not terrible. It's boy meets girl, girl and boy go on adventure. It's a complete single player experience that's fully voiced from main story to side quests. So kudos to them for doing that. It's a good job. All told, it took me about 25 hours to finish the story, but I did a lot of grinding and side quests. But if you're fast, you can get it done in about between 10 and 15. Where the replayability comes in would be the end game. And that's where you're gonna get most of your replayability. And that's probably where co-op comes in uh, the most, where you can play with other people at harder missions to get better items and better gear to up your character and make him as powerful as you possibly can. So most of your time spent in the game will be spent probably in the end game replaying missions and hard bosses. Final thoughts. It's a good game. It's not a great game. It's a good game. It's fun. It does what it needs to do as what games are supposed to be are fun. This game is fun. I'm happy with my purchase at $60, but I believe it's more of a $40 title. So I would wait for a sale. That's my thoughts until we meet again.